The Last Dose has been confirmed. Drug Wars Part 2 is coming out next Thursday, March 16th. We have a trailer to break down. We've got a short news wire to go over as well. So if you enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up, sub for more stuff like this. Let's get into it. Right here at the very start of the trailer, we see this interior, which looks like a rival acid lab. I kind of wish we were able to buy this property. This looks really cool. It kind of looks like an MC business. Of course, we know our acid lab is in the back of a truck, which is cool in its own right, I guess. Next up, we get a glimpse of the upcoming Ocelot Virtue. This is one of the new cars that will be either coming this Thursday or with the drip feed in the coming weeks. As you can see on the back, no exhausts. This is an electric hypercar. This is also going to be an Amani Tech vehicle, which will put it at least on par with the Omnis GT as one of the best vehicles in the game because electric Amani tech vehicles can actually take way more rockets than normal ones. It's kind of weird, but pretty cool. Next, we see the Burger Shot Burger just floating, so there's probably going to be another mission where we go on a massive trip, so that's something to look forward to. Here we can see the upcoming Karen Boar, which is going to be another drip feed vehicle if it's not released this coming Thursday. Looks like it had some pretty cool customization on it as well, so that's nice. And then we get our first good look at the antagonist of this storyline, which is actually Dr. Friedlander, which is just wild. This is Michael's therapist from single player. So he's gone a bit off the rails. We already knew he was corrupt from the single player. It wasn't really a good guy, but getting into the drug scene, that is... That is wild. It's going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. That's all we got from the trailer, so let's see what Rockstar had to say. Los Santos Drug Wars, the last dose coming March 16, reached the bottom of the psychedelic rabbit hole in five new story missions. So part one was six missions. In part two, we're going to be getting five. The saga of GTA Online Los Santos Drug Wars reaches its eye-popping conclusion with an epic explosion of hallucinations, kidnapping, and revenge in the last dose. Dax always knew the powers that be were going to push back, and now the Fooligans will need all the help they can get. Reach the bottom of the rabbit hole in five new story missions that revealed the mysterious connection between Los Santos' illicit drug trade and the pharmaceutical industry. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander returns to the fray to wreak havoc in this mind-bending and twisted finale. And that's it, so it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any new properties or businesses, like nothing new with the Acid Lab at least, unless this could be a surprise, we don't know. It looks like we're just gonna be getting these five missions along with maybe a vehicle or two next week. What do you think? Would you have preferred all of these missions to come when Drug Wars released a couple of months ago? It's definitely a different approach, like we're getting a new DLC in March, which doesn't happen much in GTA Online. Personally, I felt with the Drug Wars DLC that that released in December that it was a bit light. We didn't really have too much to do. It was really only a few hours of content. And then we slowly got fed that content over the next, what is it now, three months, which is pretty rough. When compared to previous years with the contract when we had a pretty big DLC, and before that when we had Tunas and Kaya Perico where there was just so much stuff to do on day one of the DLC, that really made Drug Wars Part 1 seem empty and pretty small. Whereas if we got all of those missions at launch, I still don't know that it would have been a huge DLC because, well, they're only contact missions, but it would have felt a bit more fleshed out. I I, I don't know, I guess the answer is they're slowing down development to work on GTA 6, so we should just be happy with whatever we get at this point. But hey, a man can dream, right? Anyway, join me next Thursday after the weekly update, I'll be streaming these new missions. Hope you're all staying safe, and I will see you in the next video. Boys! But you won't find me on the mountaintop